Hey, Tony. This looks like a TVP. And it's only 12 minutes long, so my guess is it's going to be a good one. Let's check it out. Six minutes. We're out. Well, first five minutes. Can we resist a Zell Stalker poke? We'll see. We'll see. It looks like you're attempting to two racks, and your gas is quite high when... I think you got too much gas already. Uh, but we'll see. So we want 500 bucks at five minutes, and we have 500 bucks at five minutes. So you're totally immune to a stalker poke. That's great. And you're pushing out with your first Marauder, and that's great. And because of Shells is almost done, I believe you're going to start combat shields. Yep, you are, and this is good. You missed a depot. That's bad. At six minutes, you want 24 workers, but because of the supply block, you're not going to hit it. Also, you missed your next depot. Oh, whenever you miss a depot, you should be extra worried about missing the next one. Um, so at six minutes, you are short a worker and short uh, just a tiny bit on army. Like, it's going to start five seconds later, so it's, it doesn't even really count. You're actually fine on army. You're doing great. So this is a really good 2 racks poke, and I love the 2 racks poke in TVP these days because everyone expands, and then they don't know how to defend against the 2 racks poke with their expansion, and you just get to kill it, and that's awesome. And uh, this happens to me a lot lately, and Nick a lot lately. The 2 racks poke is back, baby. It used to be that people would, would make multiple gateways and quick gateway tech if they wanted to exp expo late. Or start the robo before the expansion or stuff. So people used to try to be so much safer. But then uh, every Terran in the world started fast expanding. And so every Protoss in the world started fast expanding back. And then now you can just do so much more damage with your T-Rex poke. So it looks like you're going to do a 9.5 minute push with your first siege tank. Hopefully. Uh, you might not be doing that. You might be delaying it a little too long. And one concern I have about... Oh, this is good. Nice. Uh, so he does a stupid proxy pile on Zealot Harass, but that that never works. Um, so yeah, one concern I have is that if you're going to go with your first siege tank, that first siege tank has to be out a little bit quicker. When did you get... So six and a half minutes, 6.30 is when you should be starting your factory with the two racks poke. You should have enough money. Let's see if you did. Um, again, you were a little bit short on, on SEVs, so you might not have had enough money. And so, yeah, you you get enough gas at 640, just like you're supposed to. So you have 100 gas right now. Uh, I actually like to replace some Marauders with Marines and not queue this guy up, and then you'll have 100 gas a little bit earlier. And you just do that with, like, one Marauder. You replace him with a Marine, and suddenly you have enough gas to make a factory, right? Actually, you did it. You, so if you had... If you had uh, so right now... You have enough for a factory at 630 if you don't get this Marauder. But you queued up an extra Marauder, and now you don't have the gas, and you have to wait a little bit longer. So anyway, 630 is good factory timing. Good factory timing with a 2-rex poke is 630. And uh, yours came down at 730, so you're not going to have your first tank until 830, 930, basically. And then he's not going to get across the field until 1020. And you've just really got to be worried that if he gets his first Colossus at 10 minutes and you're poking then with your first tank, you're going to win. But if he gets his second Colossus at 10.45 and you're poking then, you're going to lose. So it's kind of important not to delay this first poke by too much. So here we go. It's 11.30. You delayed the poke by a minute and a half. Or just a minute, basically. I don't know. Whatever. A minute and a half. You want it to be 10 minutes. And now you want your tank to be here, completely surrounded by your SCVs, and you want to A-move everything while trying to use up all of the space. Right? Your army right now is only using half of this space. You want it to be using all of the space. <clears throat> I suspect he's just going to retreat to the high ground, but we'll see. And it looks like you got stim and combat shields, which is great. Uh, you only have 100 supply at 12 minutes. That seems kind of low. That seems very low, actually. Uh... I don't know why. Oh, I guess 500, 6, 7. So you have 45, 45, yeah. Which is 750 per minute for each of the extra. Yeah, actually, your army is just fine. Your army is fine. Do, 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 do. So you put your SCVs out in front, which is good, and then you're going to attack in here, and you're going to you switch from using only this half to using only this half. It's like you, you you insist on only using half the space no matter 
where you attack from. But your guys automatically spread out to, to use up all the space. And you just rip the guy to shreds. You do double the damage that he does in the battle and you easily win. So I liked that a lot. I wanted to look at the 10 minutes and uh, see. You should have 38 workers. You only have 30. You should have 3,500 army including upgrades. And you have 3,100. So... Uh, you missed some workers, you supply blocked some, and that that cost you in army size. And you have a bunch of money in the bank, and so yeah. It could have been better, but it was great. It was good enough to win. Very good. Um, bye.